coming on Christmas, they're cutting down trees. Um, Christmas is approaching, guys. And I thought I today I would do a little chatty chat chat um, about my favourite art supplies, my go-to and all of that kind of razzmatazz. Because I thought with Christmas coming along, um, you might be writing your letters to Father Christmas and wishing for some new supplies in your life. Or you might be looking to get something for the artists in your family. And so I thought I would just kind of like go through like what my favourite supplies are um, and what I sort of kind of would recommend um, getting so that you can make someone very, very happy or yourself very happy if you're giving the list to someone else. You know what I mean. So, yeah, I thought I'd just run down through the like, I mean, you guys pretty much know mostly the things that I use. But I thought if I put them all together in a video um, and then you can... You've got them all together and you can just like drool over art supplies and that kind of thing. So I thought we'd start with the journal because that's a pretty good place to start. I, over the years, have tried various different journals. Um, homemade ones, you know, like and traveller's notebook style ones. Um, if you'd like to make someone a traveller's notebook insert, that would be absolutely awesome. Um, and making them for yourself, they're just really easy. They're really easy to make. But, um, yeah, if you're asking your spouse or, you know, your mum or someone to buy you a Christmas present, then they're probably unlikely to um, make you a traveller's notebook. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but, yes, journal-wise, I have to say, you've seen this a few times now. I am totally, totally loving this journal. I can't see myself changing for a while. Um, I do need to take some pages out though because I have created like that much and it's already like coming open because I've added paper and photos and things to it. So I do need to go through and remove some of the pages in the rest of the journal so that this thing doesn't go absolutely crazy. But this is by C. White of Brighton. Um, now, see why to Brighton, um, they are a quite a small indie, indie kind of shop. Um, but most, I've seen these in quite a few different art supplies places. And I think um, Hobbycraft sell them as well. Um, but it's quite nice to kind of treat yourself. Um, it is, here we go. 195 millimeters square um and i love it but i do recommend the sea whites um that is basically all i'm kind of using at the moment um i love i love them i love them but if you want sort of mixed media paper that's a bit heavier then i do also love the de la rowley um, mixed media paper as well but i thought you know this is a really nice journal and it's a very nice place to start and I, I couldn't be without it now. We are in love. We very much are. Um, now, I've used all sorts of things in this journal and it holds up pretty well. Um, this um, was Inks, the Jane Davenport Mermaid Markers. I was a little bit heavy handed with them and it did um, come through a bit. But if you look, um, oh no, that isn't the markers actually. My apologies, that's actually that's actually the nail varnish. My apologies, because yeah, none of the none of the ink has gone through. That's actually the nail varnish that I use that's gone that has gone through. So yeah, it takes it takes stuff pretty well. Okay, so um <clears throat> watercolours then. I use those a lot. And I am using the Prima um sets, which I am really enjoying. Um, I like that they are little compact little tins, little nice little collections. They are a professional grade um, watercolour, so that's, if you haven't tried a professional grade, then, you know, do consider putting it on your wish list because professional grade is something else entirely. Um, so yeah, consider putting a professional grade watercolour set 
on your list if you've been dabbling with watercolors and you'd like to take your watercolors that bit further or um you know see what it's like to use a professional professional set so i i do really like the prima watercolors um the sets that i've got is the classic um and i use the classic all of the time absolutely love it um so yeah you can see the colors there i also have the odyssey which i don't use quite so much that's more the rich um the same sort of colors but a lot richer um I, I yeah i haven't really had much use for the odyssey but again i'm still really i'm still really glad i've got them in my arsenal you know i'm still really glad that um i have them and it's still a really really nice set to have i've got the complexion which i I thought I would use all the time, but I don't. And that is because I have my own mixed color. Um, but if you don't wanna do your own mixing and you really enjoy um, painting faces, then this is a really go good kit to get. Um, yeah, it's called Complexion and it's got everything. It's got, it's got a pinks, tones, yellow tones, brown tones, a black. So you could pretty much mix up any, um, any skin tone that you you need if it's not if it's not there already you can pretty much mix something up for yourself um i would say what a white caucasian skin is somewhere is the peach cobbler is probably the nearest but it's a little bit orangey so you do need to kind of mix around a bit um but yes yeah, pretty pretty good if you love painting faces and you don't want to mix your own colors or you want a base somewhere to start for mixing your own colors then i recommend recommend the complexion set um i've got the pastel dreams i use some of the colors a lot not all of the colors you can probably tell which ones i use that is the pink i tend to do the cheeks my cheeks quite a lot with the with number 40 and number 39 crimson and rose and i also use these blue green purples quite a lot as well particularly this one because that's these two are like my favorite colors of all time so i do love the pastel dreams set um okay i'm gonna keep going <laughs> um i've got the shimmering lights which i don't really use that much um if i'm honest with you i don't the reason I don't use them, they're really nice watercolours, but the reason I don't use them is because most of my artwork gets photographed um, for collage sheets or for the Brimbles boxes and collections and stuff. And shimmering, sparkly stuff doesn't always photograph all that well. So I, t I kind of steer away from using shimmer. And also, a little goes a long way with shimmer. But if you like shimmeriness and like adding a bit of sheen and glitz to your artwork this is a really nice palette to go for um i also have the essence and this is another one that i use a lot because particularly this time of year um it's kind of got those kind of autumnal tones those more nature woodland kind of look to it so i have been using this this and the classics are like my go-to i love them so yeah, I've got the Prima watercolour tins, as you see. I've kept all of mine in the tins because I, I toy with the idea of putting them in a separate tin, like all together. But then I kind of know what I'm looking for. I'm like, oh yeah, I know the colour is in the classics or I know the colour is in the Odyssey, that kind of thing. So that's why I haven't um, taken them out. So there's a few other pans I'd love. I'd love to get the Tropics. I've seen the Tropics in person someone i know has it and i am coveting that <laughs> um the windsor and newtons they do a professional grade as well they are really lovely and i used them for years and years and years and i do still use them um this is my own made up palette but you can buy the windsor and newtons in um you can buy the windsor and newtons as standalone pans so you can replace the pans that you've got or you can buy them as like mini travel kits or a big um, a big kit. And for years I used the Windsor & Newton big kit. 
and I do, I do genuinely still really love the Winsor Newtons. They're beautiful. These ones, all these half pans here, these are my favourites <laughs> um, out of the big pan that I had, which is why they're kind of, they're in here because these are the ones I go to all the time. And I got to the stage where um, I was kind of getting a little bit bored of them and I came across the Prima, the Prima watercolours. Um, I came across them and I have been loving them, but I still would really recommend the Windsor and Newtons. They are still a really, really good um, watercolour. They are used by lots of watercolour artists um, and they're really readily available as well. So, um, yes, yeah, good to good to check. Um, check those out. So those are watercolours. Um, I can only recommend the ones that I use. I mean, I do love the ones I do have. I know there are lots on the market, like Shiminke and Daniel Smith, etc., etc. I personally haven't used any of them, so I can't comment. Um, but I hear they are really, really lovely. Um, but, you know, yeah, I can only talk about the art supplies that I've got. Um, so if you fancy something, um, you know, because sometimes at Christmas you kind of want things that you wouldn't necessarily buy yourself or you know you want to treat that kind of thing and you like your shimmers i i really recommend the starry color set it's got something on there the ganso the ganso tambi starry colors by kuritaki i know you can get these on amazon these are just like molten metallics once they're used they are they're stunning. They are really beautiful. I recommend them. I recommend these over the Prima Shimmering Lights if you want. Look at that. I've used it recently. Look at the gold on that. It is just, it is just, you see the real high shine, real high shine. And so they, the, the yeah, they're absolutely stunning. I would really, really recommend them. You've got blue gold, red gold, yellow gold, champagne gold, light gold, and white gold. Um, my go-tos are the white gold, the yellow gold, gold, and the blue gold. Those tend to be the ones that I use the most. Um, in fact, looking at it, I have probably never used the light gold. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are amazing, absolutely amazing, and I cannot sing the praises of them highly enough and they're really nice just to add little touches i use the white gold sometimes for doing like star splatters you know and in the night sky the gold for like unicorn horns that kind of thing so um yeah really really beautiful um brushes i i use the um pentel aqua brush which is a really really nice um brush particularly if you want to travel um Obviously, you, you know, you put the water in the barrel and you squeeze it and it activates. Um, if you're traveling, this is a must. So if you like going on holiday and taking your stuff with you, then um, watercolor brush, sorry, water brush, absolutely amazing. There are others on the market. Um, there's the Sakura, there's the Prima. Um, I've tried them all, but personally, the Pentel is my favorite. It's one I always go for. Um, and you can buy these in different in like packs of three and things so you can buy like a small medium and large um, But yeah, I do really 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 recommend those um, Maybe you want to upgrade your brushes um, That's always a really really good, good idea. It's nice to buy yourself or get yourself some good quality artist grade brushes you will notice the difference so much because the way the the way the the brushes are made they just pick up so much color you can get such a concentrated dense color with the the artist grade brushes and they are just stunning um you don't necessarily need to spend that much i mean very often i buy the graduate brushes from dela rowney and i find them just as good as the like the the more expensive and there always can be um defined denoted seen what's the word you know identified as they all have white handles um and these range from about 250 upwards um so yeah but they're worth it they are worth it and if you're spending 
money on decent brushes, then please just only use them for watercolor. Don't use them for acrylics as well, because you want to keep them nice. Um, if you want to spend a little bit more than the um, professional, the like the artist grade, De La Rowney are also really nice. They tend to start from about three pounds. I think this brush was probably about three pounds. Um, three four pounds this brush because it's a larger this one is a <laughs> a round wash number 18 that was probably about four or five pound in the graduate range um i'll start with a round um and i would start with like an, uh, anywhere between like six and twelve is a good size um and that denotes how big the brushes are so um this one is a six um so i've got some dirty this one is a four so you could see the difference in sizes. Um, my brushes are in water. Um, this is a 12. Don't leave them sitting in your brushes like I do. Uh, here we go. This is an eight. So yeah, around that sort of size. Then um, the big brushes, like this is an 18 um for a wash this is a flat one inch uh, and they're really nice for doing like really nice great big washes of color with um <coughs> oval wash one inch oval wash yeah they're really nice for doing really nice big sweeping so if you're starting out maybe go for like a six or an eight six eight ten something like that or if you like to do intricate work sort of a four um so they're really good as like getting you started. If you've already got some brushes and you want to have a play, maybe have a look at some of the different ones that you might ne not necessarily think to buy yourself. Like, as I say, like the big ones and the wash brushes. Love those so much. Um, okay, so drawing wise, let's have a look what's in my pencil case. Um, so because these are kind of like my used and my go-to all the time. So I love using the uni bin, uni bin, uni pin fine line. Um, and they come, you can buy them individually. You can buy them as a set with all, um, all sizes from like, um, 02 to 08 is what I usually buy. No, 0, 01 to 08 is what I normally buy my pack. They are waterproof pigment ink, so once they're dry, once the ink is dry, you can watercolour over it and it will not budge at all. Um, these are really nice. These are my go-to all the time. Um, love them. I also use a lot the Edding uh, Profi Pen. Edding 1800 Profi Pen. I use that, that a lot. And I also use <clears throat> the Uniball Eye as well. The Uniball Eye is really, really good for going back over the top of watercolour or acrylic paint once it's dry. Um, so I do recommend that for going back over. Um, I, I do have in my pencil case, I have the pigment liners in brown and also in dark grey. Um, but I have to say, I, I don't use them that often. But if you've already got drawing pens and you fancy having a little bit of a play, then these are, might be quite good to look into. Something a bit different. So I'm trying to whiz through so that like this video isn't like forever long. But then, you know, it's quite nice to look at supplies. Um, brush pens. If you like using brush pens, I've got in my little caddy... I have got my um, Edding brush pens that Edding actually sent me these um, for review. Now, I have the whole big set of Tombow markers. Um, now, there's one, <laughs> Tombow. Um, I do have a set of Tombow markers, but I actually prefer the Edding. Um, I, I, I do. And they've only got one tip, whereas the Tombow has two tip. But they're dead cheaper <laughs> they are cheaper but their the brush tip on them is beautiful and they are just as juicy so if you want to kind of get started with brush lettering or anything um but you don't want to spend like you haven't got, there isn't a big budget then consider the, the the edding brush pens because they i think they are a really really good run for the money um i'm actually thinking of selling my whole set of tombos because i just don't use them 
I thought I would use them. I thought that that was going to be like, wham, the next best thing. But I don't really use them. So I'm probably going to sell them. Um, brush pen wise, I also have the Posca. Um, I love the Posca paint pens, which I'll come on to in a minute. But Posca also do a brush pen. Um, so I haven't even opened that one. That's my replacement one. Um, yeah, so you just click, click the bottom and it should fill up with ink. Come on. Come on, I want to do a demo. I want to do a demo. Come on. You have to work these sometimes to get them, like, initially... Get them started. Oh, come on. Come on. It's a brand new one because I used my other one. Come on. Play the game. Oh, they don't doesn't want to play a game. Um, oh, slowly coming, slowly coming out. You just have to pump it quite a bit. It is worth it in the end because maybe a bit of gravity will help. It is worth it in the end because they are lovely. Come on, let's come on, chicken. Come on. I'll say so on Christmas Day. I can imagine all of you just sitting here doing this. Oh, come on, you can see the black's coming out of it. But yeah, I can see all of you just sitting there being like, come on, I want to play with my paint brushes. <laughs> like Anna told me these were really good, but they just won't come out. There we go. Here we go now. Here we go. So we've got a brush. So yeah, they are really nice to use. Oh, come on. You don't want to play. You don't want to play. I've just recommended you. I might take that back. I might take that recommendation back because. So they are. Um, so yeah, they're the same Posca paint that you know and love in your. Oh. Ho. Oh. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Um, there, it's the same, um, it's the same poster paint, liquid paint that you get in the Posca paint pens, only with a brush tip. So if you want more of a brushy brush <laughs> for your brush lettering, then consider these, but as, but, but know that they are temperamental, as you've just seen, which is a bit annoying because I've had no problem with the other ones. Um, I've, I've got them in a white and black. Not sure if they do them in any other colours, but I haven't really found much of a need for them in any other colours. Um, but they're pretty cool. Again, a good option. If you're looking for something that you, you know, if, you, if you've if you got tons of art supplies, but you're looking for something a bit different and you want to play with new stuff, then they are quite a good thing to consider. Um, I, I am going to put my Posca paint pens on this list well and truly because I freaking love them. You guys know that. I have used them for years and years and years. And in fact, I have had this set for years and years and years. Um, <clears throat> these are beautiful. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what nib I've got. The medium. I think these are like, oh, hello. One of the medium nibs. Um, there you go um amazing they um they give really bold color i use them for the dress here definitely use them for the dress there i don't know if i've used them anywhere else in this journal actually um but yeah they go over watercolor beautifully they go over acrylic paint beautifully um, I use them for painting rocks. I love using them for painting rocks. I always take this pencil case on holiday with us, um, with all my all my Poscas in, and yeah, we always paint on rocks. They are waterproof when they're on a non-porous surface. So, um, like, I have painted rocks and haven't varnished them and and left them. I don't know how well they fare over time, but. Yeah, they're pretty amazing. People like use them on surfboards and all sorts of things. Um, so you can get them in various different sizes. I've got like the basic set of them, like the medium sort of size. And then I have one 
of the little thin tiny white um, for doing like d highlights in the eyes and that sort of thing I would love to have a set of the the small ones as well that would be pretty awesome but to be fair the medium size nib has always served me well um I know my mother-in-law there was a I've, I've seen like another set of colors the pastel set and I know my mother-in-law has bought me those for Christmas and I have asked John for the glittery set for Christmas I'm not sure whether he'll buy it for me or not because we're probably not doing Christmas presents for for each other this year because we're pretty skint to be honest so it's more important for us that Miss B has Christmas presents so we're probably not doing Christmas presents this year um unless we have loads of sales in the shop or something um but I have asked for the glittery ones so maybe he'll buy me the glittery ones I don't know um but yeah the Posca paint pens love them if I if I had to give one of my if I had to sort of like you know desert island type thing um a set of watercolors would be coming with me as would the Posca paint pens they would definitely if they said you can only take one pencil case with you to a desert island I think I'd probably take my Posca paint pens with me and a couple of drawing pens and some pencils and an eraser and a sharpener in there and you know like you know or choose choose a big pencil case because this pencil case here this little one that wouldn't cut it for your desert island trip but this big hunk of chunk of wood <laughs> So if you ever have to do a desert island thing, make sure you've packed a big pencil case. Okay, so I'm going to go with um, two things, maybe three things. I don't know. I, I have, this is my unsure. I, I have the Jane Davenport Mermaid Markers. They are inks. Um, I do really like using them. Um, yeah, I, I do like using them and I use them quite a lot. Um, I, I would say, I would say if... I would say go with watercolours first and if you're really happy with your watercolours and you're looking for something extra then go for the Jane the, the mermaid markers because I think you'd probably have more versatility from the from your watercolour sets over the markers but if you've got water marker colour markers and you're looking for something new to play with then I would definitely 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 go for these they are pretty awesome um very vivid um i created the unicorn hair and the background with these little babies so definitely definitely vibrant they work like watercolor and they react like watercolor but they are inks so super vibrant and super cool um if you want like um if you like doing like big washes of color i do really recommend the distress stains um i don't use these as much as i used to um but i do really recommend them they are beautiful um really good for getting down large areas of color um you can also paint with them they are inks but what i sometimes do is i'll get like um a dish let me get why can't you ever find these things when you want them? Um, I'd get a dish like that and you can pump, you know, you can squeeze it and pump it in. Like that. And then you can use a brush. Get a brush. Um, and then you can paint with them just like you would. So they are quite a little versatile little thing to have. Um, if you like them again i would i love using them although i don't use them as much as i used to um so i would say they are they come in so many different colors um so i would say you probably get more versatility out of your, out of your watercolors but these are really nice they come in so many colors and they are really nice to use you can do so many different things with them um, and i do really really recommend them and last, before my jaw really hurts, because I've also recorded another video before recording this, um, <laughs> and I need a drink, um, the last thing I'm going to recommend, which again, I wouldn't be without, are my Prisma Colour Pencils. I was really sceptical about getting these for a long time, because when I first bought them, years ago, I've had them for at least five years, because I didn't buy them living in this house <laughs> and we've been in this house now for over five years and i didn't buy them here um 
I was really skeptical about them because they were really expensive. At the time, I bought the, them on a Black Friday sale from Amazon. Um, I bought them for like 30 quid, but they used to be like 150. The large set, I looked the other night on Amazon, the large set had come down to um, about 30, 50 quid without being in the sale. So they're not as expensive as they used to be. Um, but you don't have to buy like the big set. Mine, I've got like the 96 colour pack. And I do really recommend them. I was sceptical at first because I was like, man, they're just a colour pencil, you know. But they are oil-based pencils and they blend like a dream. They're definitely worth it. I use them a lot for, for shading. As you can see here, I've just blended the yellow and the pink together to make a nice orange. Um, and the more you work at them, the more they the more they blend and you can there's a they've got a blender pencil as well um yeah i just really love using them and you start off light and then you just build up and up and up more and more layers um they're a bit temperamental they do often break <laughs> they're renowned for breaking when you when inside so when you go to sharpen your pencil and then you're like don't like the lead falls off you're like oh man um so yeah they are renowned for breaking <laughs> but they are absolutely beautiful to work with so i used them on my witch here for shading here on the hat all on all her face all around here every so many bits on here you can see i've done with prismacolors that so much of this is done in prismacolors um, but a bit of my fox I did here this fox he was entirely done with Prismacolors um, I can't I'm not sure if I've got anything like standalone I can't really show you because I've, I've like I have personal photos in here now so it's difficult um, witchy poo here this was all done with Prismacolors. Her, the only thing that wasn't Prismacolor is her dress, which, yeah, her dress is watercolor and her face was the mermaid marker. The rest is all Prismacolor pencils and the cat was Prismacolor. The stars are Prismacolor. Yeah, candy corns are Prismacolor. Um, so yeah, Prismacolor is where it's at. <laughs> mm. Cheeks, their cheeks were done with Prismacolor. And that one was. And that one. Yeah. So, the, yeah, the Prismacolor are awesome for, 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 for shading and blending. Absolutely love, 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 love using the Prismacolor. And I would 100% recommend them, especially alongside your watercolor for um, just giving yourself a bit of shading or a bit of texture, a bit of depth to your work definitely recommend definitely recommend that um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and it's given you some food for thought about what sort of things you could put on your wish list and ask for christmas or if nothing else you've just enjoyed taking a look at some gorgeous beautiful art supplies because i think most of us do enjoy just looking and listening about art supplies i know i do so there we go guys hope you enjoyed and see you soon bye guys